Okay, and uh, welcome then to the video for this Mitsubishi Outlander. This is a Sport SE version with uh, dual fuel, LPG fitted uh, at uh, date of registration by Mitsubishi. I think they came into the country and then were fitted by Mitsubishi UK with a Pharos beacon system and uh, it works fine. Uh, it's got a 60 litre tank, I believe, in the boot. So the spare wheel, there's no spare wheel with the car, just the LPG tank. Uh, still a few of these around, I've had them before, and uh, they drive really nicely actually, it's a very smooth drive, it's got the four wheel drive system on it, you know, the usual intelligent thing which uh, looks for slippage in a wheel and then puts the power to the other wheels. Good spec, uh, metallic blue with roof bars, a big uh, sunroof which is uh, fully automated, that one there, and I think that one's just passive. Uh, we've got a spoiler on the back, alloy wheels, locking wheel nuts present. Unfortunately, I haven't got any owner's manuals or a stamped up book, but uh, it had relatively new pads on the back when it came in. Uh, so they're still 95% to go on the back pads. The front pads have been renewed. There's a couple of drop links and stabilizer arms that were done for the MOT. And on the advisories, it's just rear brake discs, I think, are uh, pitted, but uh, probably for not much use recently. Uh, a few minor marks here and there on the car, little ding there and it could do with a polish up and a little bit more cleaning if you really fancy doing it to be honest with you i'm not that uh, inclined to get on with it the front number plate's got some cracks in it but uh it's still readable um the headlights are slightly discolored as well all the front fogs work and everything like that so tire wear so you can see the new pads down there tire wear that's a it's a budget tyre but still got absolutely loads to go and the same with that one as well absolutely loads to go there's the LPG filler that's your petrol rear wiper works high level brake light rear spoiler tyre on this side again loads to go and again on here so you've got no spends to make on tyres for absolutely ages electric mirrors folding rear seats half bit of half leather in there I believe I'll go through that in a bit more detail Massive boot space, uh, luggage shelf, the parcels, or the luggage blind is present. Bit of marking in the back here, but not too bad. Um, electric bike doesn't come with the car. That's for me, for getting around. And I haven't uh, got anyone to give me a lift. So, anyway, in the back here, pockets in the back of the seats. Five inertia reel belts. Look at those lovely big sunroofs, really nice. Radio CD player all works nicely. It's got remote locking and it does have an immobiliser system. Just turn that down. So there's a mobiliser on here, which um, you just press to knock the immobiliser off. I've just left it there. It's easy enough just to come into the car. So here's your LPG system. Uh, you, basically, it, as long as there's gas in the car, it will switch immediately to not immediately within a few moments or so until the temperature of the engine gets up a bit but it doesn't take long in this weather and it'll go on to a solid green light which means it's running on LPG and I've pulled off an injector and it went all lumpy and uh, put it back on again and it was fine so it does run on LPG absolutely 100% the nice thing about this being factory fitted is the fuel gauge is dual fuel as well so when it's running on LPG it shows LPG when it's running on petrol it shows petrol Okay, so plenty of airbags, lovely automatic gearbox. That air conditioning works fine. That's the compressor clicking in. You can hear the engine revs dip. I'll just turn it off again. That's the fan stopping and I'll do it again. There we go. So no spends to make on the air conditioning. That's very good. Um, so center armrests and all the usual things. This lovely sunroof here. It's a very well specced up car, to be honest with you. I mean, you know, it's a fortune in kit and then with factory LPG on it as well there we go with a brand new MOT so it is MOT until 02 09 2019 so you got over 02 09 2019 oh we're in August aren't we of course yes yeah. so September over a year on it a year and a splash so handbrakes underneath on the floor there obviously you hardly ever use the handbrake with an automatic but it's like the mercedes style okay um now the engine light is off at the moment engine lights are a pain with lpg cars they're practically on and off all the time 
the engine light will probably pop on at some point it makes no difference to the drive of the car I've done miles in it with the engine light on and miles without the engine light on and it drives exactly the same uh, so it's just been reset for it to go for the MOT but it will pop on at some point um, okay so all the electric windows electric mirrors power steering uh, I think there's only one set of keys for it as well if I'm not mistaken uh, the glass is all good wipers clear nicely washers wipers all good there that's the rear wiper in the back there uh, it's a height adjustable seat quite nice comfortable car good slightly elevated driving position but not too high up and you've got two tone bit of silver on the bumpers and things like that so you know it's not in bad condition it's not an immaculate one but it does drive nice and it's got that nice fresh MOT and the LPG works fine so I'm gonna leave you with that shot uh, any questions give me a shout I think it's only two owners as well uh, I popped the cam belt cover off and looked at the belt. The belt looks like it has been done at some point, but it's uh, a bit difficult to say. We tried to see if the old owner would uh, be responsive on the phone, but uh, couldn't even find him, I don't think, on the, in the phone book. So, uh, Oh, well, there's a little crack in the uh, plastic bumper down here, but it's all pretty weakish stuff, actually. So, Not surprising. And we've soaked the underside with old oil to give it a decent chance of not rusting out. The next few years it's the usual thing we do just to uh, help them along a bit so many cars have a, such weak under seal that uh, they just rust from the underside and you know that's the end of it but um, yeah LPG Mitsubishi Outlander automatic thank you bye bye